I'm Citrus County Administrator Steve Howard, and this is Citrus County in Focus. There is so much happening throughout Citrus County on any given day, and we want to show you the work and the people who are making it happen. Let's take a look. When you come into the landfill, if you're dropping off your trash and you see all this equipment, that is our next cell, and that's where we'll be burying the next garbage. My name's Dan Sherlock. I'm the director of Citrus County Solid Waste. Um, as you can tell from the background behind me, we're expanding the landfill. This is phase 4A. The hill up on top, that's the old phase 3. We'll have another three to four years up there. When cell 4 gets open, we'll have both of them going at the same time. Right now, we're averaging around 12,000 tons in a month. So 144,000 tons in a year. In phase three, we're figuring 2027, 20, 28. Um, this phase four, we're figuring probably 10 years, so probably 37, 38. At this time, uh, they're projected to be done completely by December of 24. So December, January, we'll, we should be open. We'll be starting putting garbage in it at that time. We know many of you are waiting anxiously for work on the U.S. Highway 19 in Crystal River in Homosassa to finish. So we reached out to our partners with the Florida Department of Transportation in Brooksville for this update on the final phase. Yeah, U.S. 19 in Crystal River, this construction project uh, has been going on uh, for a little over five years now. I'm Tyler Matthews uh, with the Florida Department of Transportation. I'm the Brooksville Operations Engineer. As you've probably heard, we've got some voids out here. Uh, and what we classify as voids are um, the underground lime rock layer, all of this heavy construction uh, equipment and material going on, removing the old road. It just kind of shakes some stuff loose. So over the course of the past five years, we've encountered upwards of 50 of these voids. It's unprecedented. Uh, we do have some of these pop up on other projects. It is a, uh, a higher number than we're usually uh, expected. Uh, but we are hopeful to have all six lanes open uh, by late spring. Uh, final completion of the project, all barrels, all equipment, all materials gone. We expect sometime late summer. We may have no control over what is past, but we can determine our future. Hope is not a plan. Action produces results, and results are the milestones of progress. Let's take a look. What doesn't get measured doesn't get done. Achieve It allows us to track different project steps through to completion and to ensure that everything is on track and moving as it should. I'm Veronica Campschroer and I am the Special Projects Manager for Citrus County in charge of strategic initiatives. Citrus County is made up of many different departments and divisions, um, all doing their own work in their specified areas. Achieve It will allow divisions within the organization to clearly communicate with one another, reducing siloed information and increasing the team approach to completing these projects. The county's administration is focused on efficiency and transparency. A tool like Achieve It will allow us to communicate internally and externally there is a real benefit to the citizens and residents of Citrus County in that we will be able to create dashboard widgets to be viewed online. What's there currently is just a taste of what we will be able to do in the future, tracking metrics, additional projects, and providing more information that you want to see on our website. experiences with the Citizens Academy is you get that opportunity to ask those questions that you've always wanted to ask. I'm Eric Head, Community Services Director for Citrus County. This is a free 14-week interactive program offered each spring and fall and it's open to all citizens. You know, each of the 14 sessions are typically three to four hours long, one afternoon a week, um, where we give you a real under the hood look at the daily operations. You know, from growth management to public works, um, water resources, right on through community services like our libraries, our parks, and, uh, and other areas including economic development. And of course, let's not forget our public safety uh, with fire rescue, EMS, Department of Health. You know, many of the comments that we get from participants highlight the real educational experiences for them. You have a better sense and a better understanding of what it takes to get things done on a daily basis. We start new classes at every spring and fall, so if you're interested, please visit the website and fill out an application. We're soaring to new heights in 2024. Our best days 
lie ahead. Thank you, and we'll see you next time for another look at Citrus County in Focus.